What is the one thing I hate most about sci-fi? It's aeroplanes in space. Drab, grey metal tubes floating around in space. Big aeroplanes in space. Little aeroplanes in space. Boring, seen it so many times before. So believe me when I say I love weird, organic spaceships. Therefore, I was immediately engrossed by the weird, vibrant, squishy world of Ultros. Ultros is the latest Metroidvania from Haddock. Dear God, I hope I'm saying that right. And it is absolutely jaw-dropping. Even in the year of our Lord 2024, we're still told that games cannot be art or something of value, of worth. We're told, Step away from the screen, go outside, get some fresh air. But tell me, what else can you possibly call Ultros other than art? This is a world so vibrant and teeming with life, with details which make it a joy to explore. You are the sojourner, I think, and you're here to uncover the mysteries of Ultros. The gameplay revolves around loops. Your interactions with the world remain, and the plants that you grow and the paths that you unlock, your high-tech helper continue to advance, but you and the characters around you will find yourself starting each loop from scratch. Except for the things that you spent brains on? I am the greatest! Anyway, during a loop you consume foods which give you particular nutrients, allowing you to unlock new abilities and regain previous abilities you didn't brain lock at a discount. The combat is fast and fluid and visceral and rewards variety, as efficient kills yield greater rewards. The world really is the star of the show here. This isn't your classic mid-2000s grey and brown This is the antithesis of those games. This world is alive and feels it. Each new area offering new challenges, but also new sights and sounds. It oozes visual style, and I found it completely captivating, constantly wanting to see more. The music is ever-present, but never overwhelming. I love the sound design heading into each cycle, the world ending, falling silent, and slowly rising back up with life again. It is a joy each time. I think it would be hard for any gameplay to keep pace with these visuals, but take it from me, a self-avowed Metroidvania hater. I've been really enjoying this one. While the classic backtracking of the genre can be a bit of a drag, not knowing if I was doing the right thing or in the right way, that was definitely something that was present. I think some of that though is fueled by my own latent anxiety. Once I let go and went with the flow, these concerns melted away. When you're in flow and figuring out different ways to progress while peeling back layers of the world, I was totally engrossed and forgot I was even playing a Metroidvania. I played on both PC and Steam Deck. Both were great experiences. The Steam Deck verified tag can be a bit of a meme sometimes, but not here. The game runs well, as it isn't too demanding on the hardware, and designed with a controller in mind. Both are easy wins for the deck. Whap this out on a plane and mesmerize the person sitting next to you. All in all, Ultros is as much an experience as it is a game. A gaming essential and what indie games are all about. Doing something unique that would never make it past the boardroom of a AAA developer. Expect to see this on the curriculum for any course entitled Gaming is Art. What do you think of Ultros? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, lick and subscribe, and if not, I'll see you on the algorithm because you watched to the end, silly. Have a wonderful day and I'll catch you next time.